Have you ever seen a lizard with its tail cut off? Do you know that they can regrow it? This process of regrowing a lost organ is called regeneration. Simple organisms like planaria and hydra can be cut into any number of pieces and each piece would grow into a new complete organism of the same species. Regeneration works in similar ways in other animals too. Sponges regenerate in a similar way too. A piece can break off and grow into a whole new sponge. Now, in the case of a starfish, if its arm is cut from the central axis, it can develop into a whole new starfish, while the starfish that lost its arm will grow back a new one too. With spiders, things are a little different. When a spider loses a leg or a part of its leg, it can regrow it after molting. However, the regenerated limbs are a tad bit smaller and thinner than the original. As for us humans, we cannot regrow limbs, but our bodies are being constantly regenerated in parts. For instance, if you have ever had a deep cut or stitches, you might have observed that your skin tissues slowly heal themselves. This happens inside our bodies too. The internal lining of our stomach, called the epithelium, is continually eroded due to the presence of acids. So, this protective layer is repeatedly regenerated, this lining every 5 to 7 days. Then take the case of the liver. If a part of a human liver is damaged due to injury or disease, it grows back to its original size with time. The only catch is the shape may be different. Let's take a look at how regeneration happens. The types and number of cells regenerated depends upon the type of organ and the organism itself. For instance, the type and number of cells required to regenerate a hydra are not the same as the types and number of cells required to regenerate an entire human liver. There are two types of stem cells, unipotent and pluripotent. Unipotent cells are those stem cells that are restricted to produce a single type of cell. Pluripotent cells are those stem cells that can produce differentiated cells. As a result of stem cells, these newly formed cells have the potential to divide into many similar cells of the same type, thus forming tissues. This process repeats itself over and over again until the intended organ is regenerated completely. All plants and animals, including the smallest bacteria, have their own stem cell systems that serve as the cause of regeneration. However, it is important to note that not all organisms regenerate in the same way. Try and find out the different ways in which they might regenerate. Keep imbibing. We believe in you.